All right, guys, so I got this question multiple times and I finally decided to answer it. Basically, the question goes like this. Why is the Kunoichi the best uh, class or job in the game, in your opinion? And I'm just going to answer this question today uh, using this video as an example. The Kunoichi is the best class in the game. By the way, I, I really hope I don't butcher its name, the female ninja or the Kunoichi, whatever, because of this particular skill, the substitution jutsu. And not only that, but something else. But together, they are absolutely busted. Basically, this skill transforms this character to something like a team leader, something like a playmaker. So you decide how the battle goes for you. Uh, in a way, usually, you know, heavy hitters such as, for instance, a Geo Dancer, uh, they go last. And uh, for instance, if you have this substitute, substitution jitsu or whatever this name of the skill is, you can make sure they start first. Also, there might be cases where you'd like uh, first to go the character that does a lot of the buffs or first to go the character that heals because you forget to heal or any other way where you want something specific to happen the next turn not to mention the fact that due to her high agility more or less in every single battle you're going to be starting first which is extremely important and this answer the question that you probably have all right why don't i just take this substitution jutsu skill and then inherit it to any other class reason is uh, the Konoichi has the highest agility. So in other words, the Konoichi, the Konoichi has the highest chance to start first. So today, I'm just going to give you a couple of examples. So I will start this dungeon uh, from the hardest possible level. And you can see uh, perhaps how examples on how great the Konoichi is as a playmaker. Then I'm going to give you another example how great she is as a damage dealer. Because I also received some comments on uh, why is she so good to, because her damage is like mediocre I, I would say her damage in the beginning is just okay it's nothing special it's nothing overpowered but uh, with the correct setup at certain point her damage goes through the roof so let's find i hope a f okay that's a good battle with a boss uh so because our Konoichi is so goddamn awesome she's going to start the fight so what i'm going to do is I'm going to substitute her with my jew dancer because my jew dancer is the girl that deals insane amount of damage no matter what you just have to plug her in the fight and she's going to destroy the enemies i absolutely love this particular skill uh, so this skill is going to basically hit almost all of them which is a f i i expect to hit more of them but that's fine uh so i'm going to do this okay four of them is absolutely absolutely fine so you can see they are almost dead with the exception of the boss so currently we have the dragon of dojima so i'm going to do uh, is the essence of the dragon god to hit all of them no matter what I'm, it's perfectly fine so currently they're dead almost dead let's go it that way uh then we have our desperado so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do essence of the high noon i'm going to hit the boss because the other guy is almost dead and this skill does pretty good single target damage and guess what guess who is next it is our kunoichi because she has super high agility so what i'm going to do now because after her the boss is going to follow what i'm going to do is i'm going to substitute her again with my geo dancer because i know the geo dancer has one super high damaging skill that's going to destroy almost kill the boss instantly and this skill is called the blossoming uli uli i hope i didn't butcher its name uh so uh there you go the boss is dead so only by substituting my characters, I destroyed this fight because I managed to open with my highest damage dealer, uh, basically my uh, Geo Dancer. I managed to open and use her skills actually twice before the enemies can even hit me. This is how extremely busted the Kunoichi is. Again, the moment you have, uh, let's say, good enough agility, you are good to go. Uh, so let's, let's fight uh, these guys. I'm going to use something uh, similar. Uh, this time I'm going to be substituting to my... I don't know which... Okay, let's let's move against the Geo Dancer. The beauty of the Geo Dancer is that she has very high damaging abilities. And if you inherit some other skills, she can do, as you can see, crazy amount of damage. So I'm going to do again the bubble. I absolutely love the bubble. She, it can hit every single of the enemies, uh, doing insane amount of damage in the process. Look at this, they're almost dead. Uh, and don't forget that I will be able to do another bubble by the... By, by the time their turn actually counts. Actually, in this particular case, they have a little bit higher agility, so it was my mistake. I should have hit them with uh, the Dragon of Dojima uh, Ultimate, but it's, it is what it is. It's fine. They're not going to do much. So, currently, my Desperado's turn is... So, what I can do is I can do a Devil Twister, uh, just like this, leaving one of them alive. Okay. Actually, only one of them died. That's fine. Uh, so, we have our... Perfect lady now, 
and it's her turn. And let's imagine that our party is super, super weak, and let's imagine that our party is super low. So what we can do is we can substitute to the Geodancer, but this time we don't be doing damage to the Geodancer. Let's pretend that all our party is super low. So what we can do instead is we can use the Geodancer Ultimate Ability, which means that we'll be healing our entire party and going to remove all negative effects. So in this particular case, our party is full HP again, and it is absolutely gorgeous. So we're going to wait for their turn to end, and then we're going to finish the fight. After uh, this particular... Okay, let's... Guess whose turn it is now. Uh, you know what? Let's uh, let's just kill them. I mean, why not? Oh, I thought he was going to die. It was my bad. Anyways, he's going to die now. That's for sure. Yep, he's dead. Okay, a Desperado. I, I believe the other guy was a little bit low. Alright, fine. Let's kill him. Oh my god, she has three buffs, so I just want to do that, I just want to do that. <laughs> he's going to do crazy amount of damage, but he's going to die. Uh, yeah, I messed up the minigame and still it dealt more than 2.5k damage, it's, it's absolutely busted. Alright, let's go to the other party so I can show you furthermore how you can make sure that you can do massive amount of damage and even enable a class that's usually considered to be not that great, to say the least. Alright, this time we'll be entering the other dungeon, and guess what, we have some interesting setup here. We're using the Pyro Dancer, which is one of the worst jobs in the game. It can still get the job done, but generally speaking it isn't amazing. Now, we'll be using one specific skill. Uh, if you go here to Tommy, you're going to witness that we'll be using this particular skill, Essence of Gaia's Wrath. Basically it says the damage is enemies with performance they'll never forget. Yada yada. The lower your current HP, the more damage you inflict. Guess what? We have one HP currently. And on top of everything, uh, what we can do here is if you go to Gears and we go again to Tommy, you're about to witness that uh, we have the Pyro Dancer armor, which says high chance to endure a KO with one HP and buffs critical hit rate up to 50% the lower your HP. So we'll be doing more damage and we'll be critting all the time. And who can enable this to happen? Guess what? Our lovely. Uh, Konoichi. And uh, this is going to be the last example with the Konoichi enabling other characters, then I'm going to showcase how you can boost the damage using the Konoichi. So, what I need to do is to change my turn with the Pyro Dancer, and then all I need to do is to uh, basically unleash his ultimate attack, Essence of Gaia. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot hit them all. Uh, that's a little bit sad. The other guy is kind of... Okay. Is he going to move forward a little bit? Uh... All right, whatever. Yeah, anyways, so we're going to unleash it, uh, and we'll be doing some <laughs> crazy amount of damage to everybody. And guess what? We can do it again, because it is now our guy, um, you know, Kasuga, and then Kasuga, and then we have the Pyromancer again. So Pyromancer can do another Gaia, because of our Kunoichi being here for him. Uh, so... Uh, you already get that, right? But now I'm going to showcase how you can boost her damage uh, to the roof. Now, the Kunoichi uh, usually boosts her damage uh, by the agility buffs she has. There are certain skills that can boost her agility in the first place. For instance, scattering of flowers can do that. Uh, it is actually a good opening skill if you wish. If the enemies are kind of weak, you can more or less destroy them by just using this skill. But there are other uh, skills that can boost your agility. The thing is, uh, certain skills depend on the agility buff. For instance, this one depends on the agility buff, uh, and this one depends on the agility buff, and this one, especially on a single target, can deal absolutely massive damage. So we're going to do uh, uh, this particular skill. Uh, he's going to resist it, but I'm convinced that he's going to die regardless, uh, because the damage uh, is quite good. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, I couldn't really do the minigame, but it really doesn't matter. I hope he's not going to run away. Okay, he doesn't run away. And now you're about to witness how absolutely busted and ridiculous her uh, jujitsu skill is going to be with the clones. So, come on, give me the turn. I'm going to a guard, I'm going to guard, and uh, the next guy is here. I'm going to guard, and now, just pay attention. And probably it's not going to crit, I'm talking about this particular skill, because it deals insane amount of damage. Uh, but... It is. Oh my god! <laughs> Alright, that was embarrassing, but currently in a situation where we can actually do something similar. Uh, I'll be using the same skill uh, on the boss, and you can see the damage it's going to do. Our agility buff is not maxed, but it's very close to being maxed. Anyways, I'm confident that this damage is going to be pretty, pretty uh, sufficient to 
yeah, to absolutely decimate the boss. Uh, so as you can see, the moment you start uh, building up some agility buffs on the Konoichi, uh, she's going to become our absolute beast. So what I'm going to do now is I will use a Troll Slitter on that guy, which is going to buff my agility buff. In the, yeah, it's going to buff my agility buff in the process uh, because I know he's going to die from this and he's dead. Currently, uh, our main guy is a little bit low on health. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to heal him. Uh, just because I don't want him dead. If he dies, I forfeit the fight, so he needs to be healthy. Uh, then I'm going to pass on the linebacker. I will try uh, to kill Ev, uh, to kill the boss by simply uh, using uh, my Kunoichi. So again, I'm going to do this. Uh, I'm going to do this. And then, again, I'll be using the Shadow Clone Jutsu. This is going to be doing insane amount of damage to the boss. Look at this, look at, look at this! <laughs> It's incredible. Okay. And then, more or less, you kill them. So this is how you can use uh, the particular class Konoichi. This is the reason why I believe it's the best. For so many multiple reasons. One of them being the fact that it is the playmaker of your team. Look at this 6,000 damage. It was crazy. So the playmaker of the team. Then, if you want, you can do damage with her. And then, if you want, actually, she is a very good debuffer. If you want, you can use her debuffing skills. But if you want to be... Let's say more successful in that, you need to have specific build. For instance, uh, the essence of the hive is super good. It can poison or par paralyze. So if you want, you can uh, brand her weapon so that you can increase the chance of poison uh, and paralyze. Uh, so at the end of the day, uh, if you want, you can open like this, make sure that she's the best debuffer. But generally speaking, I usually use her just for the clone jujitsu skill because it's so good. As you can see on the pyro dancer, you can do insane amount of damage. Alright guys, so I, found you, uh, I hope you found this video useful, see you next time and have an amazing rest of your day. Take care. Perfect!